Hey friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. If you have never seen me before, my name is Kay. I'm a professional home organizer and today we're going to talk about something I have not talked about before and that is our chest freezer because I've never had a reason to organize one of these and I happened to get it with this house when we purchased it and it's been a very challenging thing to organize but I think I've got it down. Let's talk about it. Okay, so we've had this house for two years and I haven't really done a lot with this freezer. We had some vegetable bags in here and like pizza and other stuff, but we recently started eating more whole foods, eating at home a lot more often. And that means keeping a lot of proteins and stuff in here because it's cheaper than buying them at the grocery store, buying like individual cuts of chicken, beef, whatever. And we get now a shipment from ButcherBox every month, which has been absolutely fantastic. Um, this is not sponsored by ButcherBox. I wish it was. Um, I'll do a little unboxing at the end of this video if you want to see what we got. But um, to keep those proteins frozen and organized, I have uh, imparted this method and I think you'll really enjoy it. I have seen some organizing chest freezer organizing videos on YouTube, especially by the famous uh, Alejandra.tv. She's a legend. The only thing I was concerned about with those containers, particular containers, is that there would be not a lot of airflow around the products that you're keeping inside and out the outside of the containers. I think one of the most important things in refrigerators and freezers is to allow for proper airflow so that things can stay at the proper temperature and nothing gets freezer burn and or doesn't stay frozen so my biggest thing was to find stackable containers that have ventilation so that everything can be equally as cold and I think I've done the trick so I'll show you inside and what's going on in our chest freezer. I love this so much <laughs> because it's so much better than what we had going on before. So this little basket actually came with the freezer. It's just got a couple of like hot pot things and a bread in here that we haven't cooked yet. But the other thing that's in here is proteins. And I got these little shopping baskets from Amazon and they're amazing. They're so good. I have all of my proteins separated by type. So I have I think pork and beef in this one. I've got chicken thighs or in, in one and like chicken uh, breasts in the other one I th or wings, I'm not really sure. And then I've got seafood in the, other, in the only other one. So that keeps everything separated. And I love the handles because that way, if I need to get to one below that one, I don't have to like really reach in there with my whole body. I can just get the handles and, and uh, pull it out that way. And it keeps everything so neat and organized and I love this system so much and everything so far has kept to a very even temperature and nothing has gotten freezer burn or anything like that. I highly recommend if you purchase plastic containers, I'll link these below, um, plastic containers to put in your freezer. You choose a plastic container that's polypropylene uh, in lieu of polystyrene or polyethylene. These happen to be polyethylene, which isn't the best choice over time. I may find that perhaps they may become brittle and snap or crack. Um, I will I will see how long they last. So far, it's only been a few months, so it's not like a big deal. But um, over time, polypropylene is going to hold up better in your freezer and in your refrigerator than polystyrene and polyethylene. So that's the only real piece of advice I would offer you. If I had it to do over again, I would probably really try hard to get polypropylene, but I find it difficult to find the dimensions that will fit in this space. So, so far, so good, but I'll let you know over time, like in a couple of years, if these crack, I will like definitely let you know in a follow-up video. But for now, this is working out really, really well. I love that I'm able to separate the types of proteins and that I'm able to just I don't have to be so hyper organized. I can just throw proteins in a bin and have, you know, and be, be able to find things. Like if I really want like beef, I know where to go. I can just look for individual cuts here. Got a couple steaks right here. Take them upstairs, defrost them, no problem. So, and when I undo my butcher box, I know exactly where everything is supposed to go. So that is my freezer, chest freezer organization. So now you know, I believe in cart compartmentalizing every big cavernous space. Any big cavernous space is going to be 
just where things go to die and get lost because things will end up inevitably on the bottom or in the back, which is where things go to absolutely pass away. So this method of compartmentalization really worked well for me. I hope it inspires you to do something about your chest freezer and I will see you in the next video. Let me know if you have something like this in your freezer. I'm curious. All right, to the unboxing. All right, bye. My butcher box is here. I'm so excited. I'm gonna post an unboxing. I spent, listen, this month on butcher box, I spent, I spent a lot, but we're gonna be set for the next month as far as proteins. So we'll do a little butcher box unboxing. I'm very excited. I'm gonna show you all my, my meat. <laughs> so enjoy. So I'll show you what's inside. I, this is not sponsored, okay, but I do have like a referral code because like everybody does. If you want to use mine, you can do that. I will include it, but it is so good. So everything from ButcherBox is grass fed and grass finished. So that means like they don't, they not only eat grass, you know, at like any point in their lives, they eat grass their whole lives, like grass. So that's what you want. So this month, oh boy, I was suckered into this, but this month we got lobster tails. I'm very excited to have like a little bit of like circuit of action. Yes, oh my gosh. We also got, oh my God. I also got um, three packs of chicken wings. So here are the chicken wings. Everything is frozen. So you just like, um, you know, thought a few days before you want to cook. So, okay, chicken breasts. These are chicken breasts also. I think this is a mistake because I didn't order chicken breasts. I ordered chicken thighs. Okay, here's chicken thighs. I feel like I got a bonus chicken breast. Um, so I got chicken thighs. Um, I love chicken thighs. If you don't know, they're like my favorite chicken piece. Did they give me like bonus chicken breast? Okay, here are the wings, more wings. Are the thighs? So I, I I now have two out of three thighs. No, thigh. I got bonus chicken. Okay, somehow I got bonus chicken breasts, and I'm not mad about it. Not mad. <laughs> Here's the final chicken thighs that I ordered. Cause listen, chicken thighs are like the best cut of, from the chicken. I fight me, but the chicken thighs are so delicious with the bone it. All right, and I also got ground beef, ground beef. And I got wild salmon. Wild salmon has like more mega threes than the regular farm salmon and it tastes better. Now the salmon from Whole Foods, like the wild caught salmon, I didn't like it. I was like something about this. I like the farm salmon better from Whole Foods, but this wild salmon, and I got some, these are steaks. These are ribeyes. I got two ribeyes, yummy. And I got my, I signed up, when I signed up, I got like free bacon for a year, like two packages of bacon in every box. And I always order a third. So like I have this like three thing of bacon every month. And I got two, these are like little filet mignon. I don't, did I order filet mignon? I must have. <laughs> Surf and turf, filet mignon, little filets. And last but not least, I got a free apple gouda sausage because they just were offering it. And I was like, I will I will eat free sausage. So that's what was inside my butcher box. I got free chicken breast somehow. I don't know how that happened, <laughs> but I'm not complaining about it. Oh my God. <laughs> this is all super heavy. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make two trips. This is insane. I hope you enjoyed this kind of strange video, but I thought you'd like to see all of my proteins that I put in the freezer and organizing the freezer at the same time. I didn't show the process, but you know what I mean. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I will put a referral code down to Bitcherbox in the description. Again, not sponsored, but I mean, I wish it was. Okay, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.